Hi everyone! Welcome to this special episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual! <laughs> so it's a little bit different today because um, Daisy is not here. Oh, so different. We have May and Ashley's Catching Up Edition. Yeah. It's really different for me, I feel like, <laughs> because we've had it. You've been on the Catching Up before where you were like mm -hmm. the third person mm -hmm. when Daisy was here. And we've done that with like other people also, but having Daisy not here yeah. is so interesting. And I guess I did my catching up episode with Daisy when you mm -hmm. were gone. Yeah. But it's just like weird not having Daisy at all. Yeah, <laughs> Daisy's so central yeah. to the catching up video series, so. But yeah, Daisy and Neil are in Japan right mm -hmm. now. So we're filling in, we'll do our best. And I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been having a good week at Yoseka, trying as best as we can <laughs> without Daisy and Neil when they're on vacation. We had an event in the store, which you were there for. I was yeah. not there for. So we had our um, Tasha in-store event last week on Thursday and Saturday. So I was there mm -hmm. for both those days. Mm -hmm. And so Shu Jen, the founder of Tasha, um, came to Yoseka and she brought like pretty much the entire like lineup of her pens, of Tasha pens. And it was nice to have people come in to be able to take a look at these um, Urushi pens that you yeah. don't normally get to see in person. And we also shot a video with her last week kind of like a, an interview with Shu Jen and um, going through how she got started and her kind of design um, like philosophy behind her pens because mm. as you might know like her pens are very Tasha pens are very um like elaborate like yeah detailed <laughs> they're so shiny yeah <laughs> and there's a lot of like really elaborate designs yeah so it was really cool to like learn how she thinks about them and like how she goes about working with the artist. That is very cool. It's yeah. not every day that you get to hear about stuff like that mm -hmm. directly from the person who, you know, coordinates all of yeah. it and brings it to life. So mm -hmm. that's very cool. I wish I gotten to be there in store. It looked very fun. The pens looked really pretty. Mm -hmm. But I will be watching the video. <laughs> I'll be watching the yeah. interview video. <laughs> and we did do a raffle of one of her one of Tasha Penn's mm -hmm. and our lucky winner was Kevin. Kevin. Congratulations. Congratulations. Kevin. <laughs> we'll be getting the pen soon. But yeah, that was a cool event. I think it'd be nice to have more events like that mm -hmm. with other people. Like pen, pen creators. <laughs> yeah. pen designers mm -hmm. yeah that's very very cool other than that we have been busy adding lots of new stationery it's so hot in here <laughs> but we've been working so yeah. hard new york is having a little bit of a heat wave like a humid humidity heat wave yeah i guess it's just really humid it's not super hot yet but super humid apparently it's gonna get just gonna yeah get hot. even hotter <laughs> but we've been Toiling away yeah. <laughs> in our our little stationary cave. So we so. have a lot of new um, additions. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll start over here and we'll just make our way down. These are new pens from Pilot's Il Millie line. Il Millie is like a new sub brand from Pilot. And we talked about the color changing pens before. These are like a little bit more of an everyday business school type pen. Mm -hmm. They're the Ilmili Nuance Black pens, and they're basically nuanced black colors. So they're just slightly off black. And these are the colors they come in. So, well, they're not in order, but you can kind of see the top coordinates to the color. And the whole concept of this pen being like slightly off black is so that you can show your personality but like subtly so you don't have to like use black like everyone you can use like your own special 
tone, mm. like color. <laughs> it's very subtle, but mm-hmm. I can imagine, especially in like business settings, mm-hmm. like it would stand out. Like, yeah, <laughs> compared to all the other black mm-hmm. pink, mm-hmm. Um, Just, I really like this mm-hmm. black yellow. It's yeah, very different. Too. It's yeah. really, it's really, really good. What point are they? Oh, they're, they're all in point five, event. and they're just regular gel pens that like click on the clip. So it's supposed to be like sleek, sophisticated, and another addition to their Il Millie line. We have new pencils, new black wing pencils. Um, this is based on the artist Jean Michel Basquiat, who is a very cool, like abstract. Mm-hmm. Um, painter. His like signature is very like unique crown signature mm-hmm. on the pencil. On the on the ferrule. Mm-hmm. I mean, his wow. paintings are like really uh really like bold. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a lot of energy in mm-hmm. them. Like lots of big colors and lines and like strokes and everything. I feel like they captured it in the pencil. Yeah really well but if you notice these pencils have all these different color erasers but the original pencil only comes with the black eraser but you can get this uh replacement eraser set that has all these colorful erasers Mm -hmm. that matches the colors on the pencils which Mm -hmm. is so cute it's like such a good idea yeah so we took the liberty of changing somehow. <laughs> so these will be available in the store only. <laughs> these ones that are colored, but, but the original set comes with black. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these are super cool. I always like the artist collaborations, and I feel like this is this is a good one. I'm really excited about this next one. Yeah. <laughs> these are Deco Seal stickers from Furukawa. I love. Anything for a column. Yeah, they're all so their cute. Their designs are so good. Yeah, they're, so they're illustrations. These are basically um, kind of larger sheets of stickers with different designs, and they're kind of um, I would say they're all kind of like cozy, mm-hmm. cute, super cute flowers and animals. This one feels really summery to me because oh, the, yeah. the little oh my octopus God. is so yeah. cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. Like a little bunny here. And this one. Mm-hmm. Cats, Cats and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It has and like then eggs. Fried eggs. Yeah. But I like the color schemes. Mm-hmm. Like these would be really nice to, um, really easy to decorate something with. Mm-hmm. I really like this one. It's so pretty. Yeah, they're all very, very calming. I feel like mm-hmm. they'll be really good for collaging. I just like that the whole thing is a sticker. So good. So it comes with five. Uh, each? five oh no, four, four each of five designs. Mm-hmm. And oh my god, yeah, the it's red. So cute. <gasps> This the bread so and the good. coffee. Oh my god, look at this like portrait of this like, <laughs> dog. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. And the whole thing is a sticker, right? Yeah. It's really nice that the whole thing is a sticker. Like you could cut out a piece, but that's like true. that's so nice. Yeah. Like, what a big surface area of sticker. And you don't need like glue Ooh, tape or anything yeah. like that. Like you usually would with collage paper. That's so nice. And it's a very like washy, right. almost washy material. So pretty lightweight. Really nice to layer them and like layer other Ooh, stickers on top. That's so cute. Yeah. Good combo. So these are really cute. I love them. They're so cute. Ah, alrighty. And then next, adding to the pile, <laughs> we have new designs from Kita. So many. So many. They really just like. Boom for the summer, but they're all super cute. Um, I'm really excited about some of these designs. Like mm-hmm. this one is really cool. I feel like it would be nice for like gift wrapping. Oh yeah, because it's like it's a little metallic. bit special, like yeah, gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a lot of clear ones. 
and then some more like basic designs. A lot of these in this line actually are collaborations with different artists. Oh. And you might like recognize some of the artist's work from other stuff. I like this one. Yeah. It like makes up a whole picture. Mm -hmm. So cool. And yeah, it's very summery. Mm -hmm. Very cute. And then two other designs that they released are these which are, oh, they're falling out a little bit, but these are perforated washi which tapes. I s literally screamed <laughs> when I saw You're this. So on, like, I wasn't working that day and uh -huh. I saw it on Yoseka Instagram. Yeah. And I immediately, I'm like, I'm getting these. <laughs> you need to get them. Because you use them in your yeah. planner like that to, to correct your stuff. This one, the sweets one, is perforated two times. So you can perforate it there and there, which makes it easy to like tear it and break it apart on the go. You don't need any scissors. That's so good. And it's like perforated all the way through the backing, which I was like, that's so good. So you could just like split them up and then open them like that. It's really great for sharing too. <laughs> yeah, just like, here you go. <laughs> like there's, a tiny piece of your... <laughs> <laughs> And one for me, <laughs> nom nom nom. I feel like I'm like, distributing food, like <laughs> little cookie food. And then the other one, which is called Symmetry, is just split down the middle. Oh, I see. Which we tried making like index tabs oh, yeah. with them, which I think they're really good for. Oh, you mean like fold it and yeah. stick it like that? Stick it like that. It. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cute. Honestly, best innovation. But yeah, that's new from Kita. And then <laughs> saving best for last yeah. because this is like a behemoth of a new addition. The Reimi Fuji Da Vinci system, organizer system, mm -hmm. I guess you would call it. But it's a refillable binder system. So you can get like this outside binder and this is the Bible size. It's like a really nice handheld size and you just fill it with all these different refills. So I'll show you. This is the outside cover. And then the inside is like this binder, refillable Six binder. Hole. Six hole binder. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty small. <laughs> it's really small. They packed this, they gave this one to us and they packed it full of these refills. <laughs> I would probably go a little bit lighter on the refills mm -hmm. if I had it myself. But so this one yeah. has this line refill and like a checklist mm -hmm. refill. The refills that they have for the Da Vinci like system is infinite. <laughs> There's literally like over a hundred. Anything you can think of, they have it as a refill that you can add in here. And it's made out of either Tomoe River paper or like a bamboo paper that's special for the Da Vinci system. Is by the size, like how does it compare to B6? To me, this is like the exact same size as B6 Slim. I see. But I haven't compared it side by side actually. Mm -hmm. But I think, yeah, B6 Slim is a really good comparison. This might be like maybe like half a centimeter longer, but mm -hmm. I think it's pretty much the same. If we compare it to the A5 size, it's like, yeah, definitely in the B6 slim range. Mm -hmm. But there's oh, the A5, the Bible size, and, and there's a really cute mini, mini size. size. <laughs> Look at how tiny it is. So and these cute. cases are pretty nice. Like mm -hmm. it's got these little pockets. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this would be a good size if you um, wanted to use it as a wallet. Because mm -hmm. I know um, some people do that with their travelers. Yeah, and this would be kind of true. This is smaller than the travelers' mm -hmm. passport size. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit thinner, and the inserts are much smaller. Yeah, they're so small. They're so cute. It's like a monthly or a weekly? Yeah, monthly. Insert. Monthly. I think I've seen people oh, yeah, do monthly spread like ink swatches oh. on like a whole page of them and they'll just keep it in this mm -hmm. binder. Oh, like a little like ink swatch book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Line refill. 
blank nice there's like Grid. so much <laughs> this tiny thing and there's even Check more this. yeah and all these like little like tools yeah so many accessories oh, like, these are like clear file pockets, pockets. so good and then dividers and there's so many more there's um, there's so many <laughs> so so many so you could really customize your mm -hmm. Whatever Binder. you you put inside yeah. here, you can really make it your own. The possibilities are endless, <laughs> so endless. And the cover, this cover, is actually made from like recycled olive leaves. Like they'll collect oh. the olive leaves from the ground in Spain, I believe. I hope what? I'm remembering that correctly. <laughs> I know it has such a story. Oh, is that what this is? is yeah, that why the olive leaves. leaves. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Olive leather. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So it's like a nice little oh, yeah, recycled whole... type of thing. Yeah. And it like comes in this like olive color. Mm. So it's, it's so funny. <laughs> but it's really good, really cute. But yeah, there's there's so many refills. Yeah. Like I brought just a few because they have literally so many. There's some in different color, lined paper. There's a password <laughs> book, which we love here. <laughs> and then there's like a word learning oh, book. So you write the word and the definition, huh. the tabs. There's also a hole puncher. Which is so cool. Which is so good. <laughs> a hole puncher like that. It's like so smart. And then it just like stays in the binder. Right. That's so good. So, so good. But yeah, so many, so many more than this. It's like endless. So we'll do like a more in-depth unboxing video probably mm -hmm. um, in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned for that. Autumn did a great job. Autumn and Gordon did a great job at photographing oh, these. Oh yeah, photographing yeah. them, the photos look so <laughs> it good. Was a, it was a project for so sure. So thorough, yes. <laughs> Very good job by both of them. But yeah, I think that is all we have for this week in terms of new stationery. We are still going to be hard at work, adding more and more. So keep an eye out for the newly added page on the website. But how has it been so far for you it's, without Daisy and Neil here? <laughs> it's definitely a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like your parents are gone. <laughs> it is, it is. That is how it feels. I feel like there's so many things that like, like when we're in the store or when we're just like doing videos and things, there's so many little things that they just remember to do, mm -hmm. like silent things. And then I'll realize now while we're like on vacation, like- It's like way more oh, noticeable. Oh no, I need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I keep like almost text them, but then I remember, oh, oh. no, I should not text them on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a 13 hour time yeah. difference between us. Oh, uh, yeah. The presence is definitely yeah. different. I'm really enjoying seeing photos that they're sharing on Instagram from Japan so with Jacob. Cute. Oh my god, Jacob. I hope Jacob's so having a good cute. time. Yeah, I hope so. I wonder what it's like um, acclimating to the time change. Mm -hmm. I feel like as a kid, I wouldn't have cared, but. You know, your internal clock doesn't lie. <laughs> it's probably like, what is this? Yeah, it's <laughs> Where are he's so disoriented and tired. But I hope he's having a good time. If you read Daisy's newsletter that just went out, um, we do have some exciting stuff happening at the end of the month. Yes. <laughs> which is coming, coming up soon. very soon. <laughs> a little bit of a secret if you stuck around. We, we've been working on yeah. some some special gifts, some special goodies that we'll be sending out to anyone who has pre-ordered the sailor pens that we have coming out. Home Refresh and Origin collaborative pens that we have coming out soon. Sooner than later, <laughs> wink, wink. If you read Daisy's newsletter, you should all read Daisy's newsletter. I can't <laughs> wink. I don't know what I'm trying you to do. I can't wink. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> so we're, we'll be really excited in the coming weeks to um, talk about that more. Yes. Yeah. 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 And if you liked this edition of Catching Up So Casual, please comment if you want May back. This was great. I would love oh, to have you back. You. Yes. <laughs> love Daisy too, obviously. I feel like she's going to watch this and be yeah. like, what do you mean? <laughs> Trying to take over. <laughs> if you like this edition, or if you want to see someone else mm. star in the catching up, it would be funny to have like Neil and Ashley. Oh or, like, my gosh, that would be such a different dynamic. That would be really funny. Yeah, comment, comment <laughs> what you would like to see in the next So Casual. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!